Hey everyone, it's Christina from American Root of Flower Farm. So right now we're gonna get our hands dirty. Uh, I've got my naked, I've got my naked two-year-old over here. He's planting some seeds of his own. Uh, I have this bag of seed starting mix, uh, kind of blocking him. And then I also have a barrier. Uh, we have put up a fishing line across the table to the back of the bench so that he can't cross it so he doesn't accidentally get in this in the um in the screen what i'm doing today is a little experiment so i harvested some beautiful zinnias um from the flower farm last week uh, i let them dry and i just looked at them last night and they were dry enough to be able to pull the seeds out of them for the seeds to fall out this is what it looked like, what they look like. It's actually, this is three flowers right here, seeds from three flowers. This is what the dry flower looked like. It's a zinnia, uh, it's purple. It's a Benary's giant purple is the variety. And uh, it was much larger than this. That's just an example. Um, it actually looked like this on the plant It's just, it's, it's absolutely perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, it's big, it's everything I want out of a zinnia. It has a long stem. And I'm hoping to get more similar to this. I know that I won't get the exact same ones. Um, I am in no way educated, formally or informally, on breeding flowers or even uh, seed collecting it's it's pretty technical to uh to uh breed zinnias uh, i started researching it last night it intrigues me and i'm hoping that it is something that i will uh, educate myself on and do more of but for now i just want to experiment to see if these seeds that i harvested from this year's crop will start new plants this year so what I'm saying is I wanna see if these flowers that I grew this year, these flowers from the, that these seeds came from, if I plant them now, which still is the growing season here in my zone 9B, if they will actually sprout and uh, grow new plants right now, because I actually still have 91 days, I believe, left in my growing season before we get our first frost. Zinnias take uh, 70 to 75 days to uh, to flower and be harvestable since we still have 90 days so logically uh, thinking this should work unless the seeds need time to uh, if they need to actually go a season before they or a certain time period before they will actually be viable and to grow new plants to grow a plant so uh, my experiment is to see how soon I can get a seed to sprout after being harvested. So what I have here, I have some seed starting mix. I'm just using a seed tray and um, I'm just gonna fill it with uh, soil and I'm gonna put a heavy amount of seeds in there just to see um, in hopes that at least one will uh, sprout. I have pre-moistened this seed starting mix. Uh, it is moistened to the point that it, when I squeeze it, no water comes out of it. However, it holds together. It's maybe on the drier side of uh, where it really should be. Um, but then again, I'm gonna water them in, so it, it'll be fine. The naked child found his way around the barricade. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I just took an ice cream break. Put some chocolate ice cream. All right, back to back to uh, our experiment. Hey, and if you've ever done anything like this, um, or if you know uh, how long it takes for seeds to actually um, to actually, if there's a, a period in between harvesting and 
if there's a period between harvesting and uh, when they will actually sprout and grow, uh, let me know. I, my little knowledge of seeds. I know that uh, zinnias are self-fertile, meaning that they don't need another flower from another plant to, uh, to fertilize them so that they will make seeds. They, um, they have the female part and the male part so as long as something, so as long as uh, something is pollinating them, is moving the pollen around to the different parts, then uh, they will have fertile seeds. Uh, there are three different types of seeds that zinnias produce, and one type, which is the type that I have here, are the ones that are attached to petals, are the petal seeds. Uh, when you are collecting seeds. You want to make sure you want to make sure that they are firm, they are plump, and uh, are not like bendable. So I just snapped off the petal, and I'm going to place them. It's actually raining right now. We're getting some of the, um, the Hur Hurricane Hillary is, uh, has been uh, over us for the last few days or moving through, but we do catch the, um, the end of it. So we haven't been affected by it whatsoever. We had some strong winds, I believe Friday night. Okay, so I have um, at least two seeds per cell. Some cells have four seeds in them. Again, this is just an experiment, so uh, it's okay if they don't, uh, if there's more than one per cell. Just plant them both out and then pinch one off. So now I'm just going to cover them with some of my moistened potting soil or seed starting mix. Uh, you want to cover these with about a quarter of an inch of soil. After I've covered them with soil, I am going to water them in uh, using the mist setting on my hose. I use the mist setting that way I don't disturb uh, the soil and bring any of the seeds up and knock any and knock any of the uh, soil away from the seed. Uh, this way it ensures that they stay covered and I don't remove the soil from the top of the seed. Okay, so uh, that's it there. Uh, wish me luck on this experiment. Again, if, you, if you've if you ever done this before or if you know uh, the time period or the waiting between harvesting or flowering and when the seed is viable and will sprout so um, let me know that if you know that or if you've ever done this before. So I'm just going to water this in. And remember, my friends, keep your hands dirty.